tape for this light heavyweight matchup is brought to you by Synergy. Great tasting premium energy drink. 28-year-old Brazilian Govea against the 26-year-old American. A definitive reach advantage enjoyed by Govea, and he is the man with the more dangerous striking skills. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Good matchup here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Govea against Marrero. Go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! Come and on. we are underway. Govea in the white trunks. Marrero in the dark trunks. Marrero looks great at this weight. Very explosive and powerful wrestler. Looking for the early takedown. Govea's confidence continues to escalate with every win inside the octagon. Hanging those hands low. Carmelo eats a little right hand coming in right there. Clearly looking for an early takedown, Joe. Yeah, Carmelo's game plan is very obvious. Govea lands a kick. set up that shot as opposed to trying to just go after it, don't you? Yeah, well, you know what? In the beginning, you know, it's it's so hard to get comfortable, you know? There's all the nerves going on until these guys actually clinch and get a hold of each other. You know, the, the initial, like right there, nice leg kick. The, the, the initial, you know, uh, the, the initial interaction between these guys is always a little shaky. A little bit of a feeling out process, certainly. Yeah, Marrero doesn't want to get hit here. Govea really hanging that left hand. Well, you know what? I mean, he's inviting Marrero in. I mean, Govea has uh, quite an advantage in the standing, in my opinion. But if you were in there, would you still take that risk, Joe? Uh, if I was him? No. Yeah. I mean, I never, <laughs> never. But you know what? I mean, he, I think he believes he's so much better than right, me. Right. I mean, we've seen Govea get cocky before. When he submitted Wes, uh, Wes Combs, he didn't even bother cinching the rear naked choke up the right way. He left his hand on, the, on his forehead. And I asked him about it. He's like, ah, he's not going to stop it. He didn't know anything. <laughs> oh, caught it right there. Caught a left part and made jab. Marrero right, trying man. to come over the top. Good exchange on the return by Govea. Nice left hook as well there. And a big oh, kick. Oh, that big, stumbled him big time. Big leg kick right there. That one hurt. And again, same spot. Marrero is in trouble. Huge leg kicks by Wilson Govea. And good job of avoiding the takedown. He's got a hand under for the guillotine. But Mar Marrero's got that arm out. He absolutely buckled him with that leg kick. Those leg kicks are hard. And again. Govea is just landing that leg kick at will. Marrero caught a knee on the way down. Marrero's going for that, excuse me, Marrero, he's got that guillotine. Govea's got it. He's got that arm in guillotine. It's the same way he submitted Seth Petruzzelli. Marrero's in big trouble here. Will he tap? It looks like he's looking to think about it. He's trying to, he's trying to grab a hold with his legs. Oh, he's mounted him. He's in deep, deep trouble now. Wilson Govea. Govea's going to put him to sleep. He's looking to finish it. It's all over. Wilson Govea has won again. Wow. Very, very impressive performance. Very impressive performance. Wilson Govea wins his third straight fight in the octagon. Chris Buffer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke, Wilson Govea. Yeah, that's right, three in a row for Wilson Govea.